Uh, we've been conditioning on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, just running, lots of running, lots of um, ball handling, things like that. Obviously, with the team, with a lot of guards, there's going to be a lot of scoring, but what have you guys been working on to improve your defense this year? Uh, a lot of help side. Uh, we're also working on um, some full court traps. We have a lot of young athletes there, so we're going to try to get their legs moving and just kind of speed up the game a little bit. And now that you're in your second year at Wayne and stepping into a leadership role, what are you trying to do to get the younger players to get into the Wayne program? Just know that it's okay to mess up. You're going to mess up. You need to learn from those things. And just um, trying to teach them just to be a leader. Uh, you can do a lot of things in life, but you, if you can lead, you know, you can do a lot. You can get well. And then individually, what area of your game have you been trying to work on this offseason, and what are your expectations for yourself this season? Uh, I would say defense is um, being more mentally prepared and also just working on ball handling, preparing me for college, as well as uh, post moves. Uh, what is the expectation for Wayne this season? You guys finished close to the top in the SAC last year. What do you guys expect to have? What, where do you expect you to be at the end of this year? Uh, it's kind of iffy. It just depends on how we do. Hopefully we do well. That's the goal. But another thing is just to get the young underclassmen just to realize that they have to step up next year. They have to be the leaders. So I want to kind of get them to understand that they have to, as well as be on the full court, as well as on the court, but just uh, step up vocally, be a leader no matter what. Just always keep your head high and attitude positive. And you've always been in the SAC. Now you have a couple of newcomers in with Homestead and Carroll. How do you expect them to change the landscape of the conference? Uh, it's definitely going to be different for them. Uh, a little more rough, you know, SAC. They think of it as, you know, the rough house. So it's going to be surprising. It's also going to be good just because they're very good teams and, you know, good competition makes us better as well. And then uh, forgive me here, I'm a little bit new, so have you committed anywhere for school yet? Or are you looking anywhere? Okay. Yes, I commit to Chicago State University, uh, I want to say in the middle of the summer. Okay. So I'm looking forward to going there. We've just really been trying to get in shape for the most part. That's really much it. We've been doing a little scrimmaging, see who, what's everyone capable of, and things like that. I know that you guys haven't started practice yet, but early on, what do you think the strength of Wayne will be this year? Probably the... Um, point guard and the shooting guard, those ones, we just got to get the bigs to communicate with us better and stuff like that. Um, guys finished near the top of the SAC last season. Now that Carol and Homestead are joining in, how does that kind of shape the landscape of the conference? I think it's going to be very tough, you know, but it's going to be a fight, so yeah. Do you think it improve that makes everybody want to step up a little bit more, knowing that already the SAC was one of the toughest conferences in the state, and now it just got even harder? Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, what are the expectations for Wayne this season? Where would you like to see the team at the end of the year? Um, probably farther than what we got last year. So probably, I don't know, just farther than what we got last year. And what's it going to take to get there? Hard work and dedication. Uh, we've been conditioning the last uh, month and a half or so, getting them and trying to get them in shape uh, and get some basketball skills in there. We have a young group coming in, so it's good to get these girls ready to go. Yeah, describe the makeup of your team this year and what fans can expect when they come up to see you guys play. Uh, we're going to be a young team. We lost four seniors. Didn't sound like it's a lot, but it really was uh, a core group of girls that we lost. We do have a couple girls that are coming back. Uh, one really uh, good uh, girl come back with the best, in the, one of the best in the city. So I'm uh, looking forward to getting them started and have them leading the team. I'm assuming the last person you were talking about was Shayla. Just talk about what she brings to your team and what your expect. You, what are the expectations for her this upcoming season? Well, so I expect her to be a leader of the team. Uh, she obviously can score a lot. Uh, she can dribble the ball, handle the ball. Uh, so she can be our multifaceted girl that does just about everything for our team. Uh, I expect her to have a very good season this year. Go ahead. And then overall, you guys had a really great SAC record. What's it going to be like having Homestead and Carroll join in on the regular season with you guys? Uh, it's going to be very tough having those two coming in. Uh, Homestead obviously went to the state finals last year, and I think uh, they have a really good chance of going to state finals again this year. And then bringing Carroll in also just kind of makes everyone uh, have to bring their game up a little bit higher and uh, come in, and the uh, competition is going to be very good each year or and each then, game. <laughs> And then what are the expectations for Wayne this season? Where would you like to see them at the end of the year? Oh, well, I'd like to see us somewhere near the top we were last year, compete, uh, do the best we can.